Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Daniel Rosal here. Today's video is about ordering from AliExpress to Israel and specifically how long you can expect that to take based on my experience. Now, uh, Israel has emerged as one of the world's largest consumers of AliExpress and that's a large factor, I think a few dynamics really. One is that the uh, domestic market is quite small, stuff in Israel tends to be very expensive and the product selection on AliExpress is second to none. So AliExpress has become actually massively popular in Israel to the extent that a small country like Israel has emerged as one of AliExpress, AliExpress's leading buyers. It's quite funny, you'll commonly be browsing on AliExpress for products um, and you'll see stuff like, you know, customized doormats for instance and some of the product photos are in Hebrew because uh, those are the ones that their customers have ordered that they're using to demo. Now regarding the question of how long AliExpress takes to come. So firstly, I've been ordering from AliExpress for more than seven years. Um, I'm a platinum member and my order count is embarrassingly high. I will just say that it's in the thousands. I order literally everything from AliExpress. The, LZ, the LED light that is lighting me with this remote control is from AliExpress. My little um, box for keeping breath mints is from AliExpress. Um, what else is from AliExpress? My, uh, no, that's not from AliExpress, the mouse map. But anyway, I order a hell of a lot of stuff from AliExpress. Uh, a lot of tech gear, a lot of camera gear. And you know, it's got its pros and cons as a platform. Um, but generally I find it quite good. Now, um, the major con by the way, just uh, because I don't, I want to make this video about shipping times, but the major con is that the customer service is really bad. There is no real such thing as human customer service on Ali. You get through to bots if stuff arrives broken or whatever, it's a dispute process versus Amazon, it's a far, far inferior uh, purchasing experience as a buyer. But let's focus today on uh, shipping or transit time. So in my experience buying from AliExpress, it really, really depends. Now there's a few times when uh, shipping can be particularly slow. The average is around, I would say 30 days in my experience, ordering stuff to Jerusalem. However, I have had outliers, I've had freak orders that arrived in less than two weeks. I've had one that arrived, my record was eight days. I have no idea how an untracked AliExpress parcel made it from China to Israel in seven days, but it can happen. It's very rare, however. Um, when AliExpress is running fast, I would say it's probably in two to three weeks. There's a lot of things that can affect the uh, transit time between China and Israel. One of those is the stuff getting out of China. Now, um, that can be slowed down due to a few factors. One of them is the Chinese Spring Festival or Lunar New Year. So check out when that's on. That is a period when um, it's actually the world's biggest internal migration. Very interesting stuff. Chinese families go home and you'll start getting messages from your AliExpress shops or suppliers saying, uh, you know, hi dear. Uh, <laughs> they always say hi dear. We're gone home for a Lunar New Year. So expect a delay in your order. So that's a time when um, you can expect stuff to be delayed. Because of the pandemic, right now there's apparently a, um, there's a, there is a delays on the Chinese side at the moment due to uh, COVID-19 restrictions. So that's an unusual situation because hopefully the pandemic won't be forever, but that can affect transit times as well. Um, then on the Israeli side, okay, so we have two sides to the logistics chain here. On the Israeli side, uh, basically the Israeli postal system was just not designed to deal with the massive influx of AliExpress packages. Stuff, to the best of my knowledge, tends to get sorted in a huge sorting center in Modi'in. And you'll often see on traffic that there's a bottleneck in Modi'in. Your stuff will get stuck there. It'll like get from China to Israel pretty quickly and then it'll just sit in Modi'in. Now, somewhat recently, AliExpress started doing something called consolidated orders. If you search my YouTube channel or search YouTube in general, you might find my video about that. And that's when AliExpress suppliers, if you're a regular buyer like me, they'll bundle different orders together. Now what will happen is that they use these things called consolidation warehouses on the Chinese side. Your stuff will arrive to a consolidated warehouse. Then they'll use an expedited shipping method to get your stuff from China to Israel. So it's a weird system um, and you'll end up with these like big boxes. Again, I did a video a while back on them. Um, from a tax and customs point, that's technically could be problematic um, because the order value is being increased against your will, um, but I haven't had issues with it so far. So uh, consolidated orders, I think it probably works out about the same transit time um, because of the fact that 
yeah, they're, you're gonna wait for stuff to arrive to the consolidation warehouse, but then they're going to use expedited shipping to get it from the consolidated warehouse over here to Israel. Uh, so I find about the same transit time. Now, this is all talking about on track. So you get to Modi'in, oh, and the final thing that can affect the transit time is delays on the Israeli side. If it's a um, Israeli Jewish holiday, if it's a, if it's a Chagim, etc. So you've got to think about Chinese holidays, Jewish holidays, logistics. So there's a lot of moving parts that can break, but generally about a month. Now, let me just show you guys a couple of uh, things. So here's something I just bought from AliExpress, typical small order of stuff I couldn't be bothered finding locally, so I sourced it from Ali. Bookmarks, right? Everyone needs bookmarks if you read books. So I just said, okay, lovely, 30 bookmarks. I'm always losing bookmarks or bookmarks or running short of bookmarks. I'll, uh, I'll get myself a little pack of 30 bookmarks. Now you see here free shipping to Israel. Now most people will just click on free shipping or they'll click on buy now and they'll never see this button here. Hang on, I need to make myself a little bit smaller. Oh no, I don't, sorry. Okay, they'll never see this button here that says my options. And when you click on that option, you'll get yourself a variety of different uh, shipping methods, starting with your basic free shipping via can, uh, I don't, I never know how to pronounce this, but this is like the basic, um, basic AliExpress shipping method and it's saying it's gonna be combined delivery. Now, um, on the when stuff gets here to Israel, is it'll either be delivered by Israel Post or sometimes it'll arrive via Cheetah. Um, that doesn't, in my experience, I've ordered a lot of stuff with this basic free shipping option. Some of it's come as uh, small packages to the, through the post network. Other stuff has come to through uh, an Israeli courier, last mile courier like Cheetah. So there seems to be no rhyme or reason for how it works, it's just how Israel the Israeli postal system automatically sorts it. But if you do want to go for better ordering, there is there are better there are better ordering options. For instance, if we just pay 85 cents, we can get traffic. We can get a tracked uh, logistics method. And you can see here estimated delivery July 17th, 18th. So it's not really any quicker, but at least you should be able to see where it is through the supply chain. Uh, we've got another another method here uh, via standard AliExpress. This is uh, AliExpress standard shipping. This is AliExpress saver shipping. Then we have here um, AliExpress selection super economy global. And if we go down a little bit further, we're gonna get the uh, better shipping options. Now these will become very expensive or not very expensive, but you know, clearly to state the obvious, it would, would not make any sense to order a $1, um, you know, uh, a bundle of bookmarks and then pay $56 to have them shipped via EMS or $60 via uh, FedEx. Now, when it comes to Israel's tax, um, the uh, the cost of the uh, shipping and handling is not supposed to be, is not included for tax purposes, but I've heard stories of people being charged uh, release fees from customs from uh, DHL. So th when these shipping options would make sense, I have used them in a couple of times. You can see UPS expedited and you're getting, the very best option we can get is almost $100 for DHL and that's getting our delivery down to eight days, so very quickly. When this, then, when this would make sense, if you're saving a lot of money um, versus if you find a real bargain on AliExpress versus uh, you know buying something locally here in Israel, it might actually be worth it to uh, pay that $100 or $80 uh, to get stuff to move very quickly from China to Israel uh, via something like EMS or DHL or UPS shipping. So that's basically the skinny on how, well, it's not, it wasn't so skinny in the end, but it was as skinny as I can make it, how long uh, it takes for orders to arrive from AliExpress to Israel. The summary is, as I said, in general, I would say about 30 days. I've had freak orders arrive in as little as seven days. Um, and don't forget that there is that more shipping options button so that if you want to uh, pay, you can often pay a little bit more for something called uh, e-tracking. I forget the shipping method, there's a slightly better one. And if you're ordering anything of value, um, you know, not these, uh, you know, these, uh, these $1 bookmarks, but anything of some value, I think it's really worth paying a few extra bucks uh, just to get some proper tracking for yourself. Oh, and there was one more thing that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, excuse the chaotic, uh, the chaotic nature of this video. Here's a website called parcelapp.com. So to, you can track your, your stuff via the AliExpress interface by going into my orders, clicking on tracking, but then you need to log into AliExpress. What you can do is go onto this website, parcels, parcelsapp.com. I'm just gonna type it up here. So uh, 
parcelsapp.com. Um, and what you can do is you can put in your tracking number, then click on track package. And now what this will do is it'll pull in the tracking data from AliExpress, but what you can then do, it'll give you a unique URL, um, a unique web page. So you can then bookmark that and have it in your uh, tracking folder. Uh, so that you don't have to log into AliExpress every every single time just to track an important item and you can la label it like, I don't know, my new microphone or whatever. There's other um, apps for tracking AliExpress products, but this is the one that I find very useful. And whenever I'm ordering something of uh, you know value like uh, maybe a microphone or a phone or a tablet, um, I will uh, bookmark that so that I can keep an eye on it if there's any unexpected delays. And uh, that finishes up my spiel. So I hope this video was useful. Thank you guys as ever for watching. And to get more videos from me, click on the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.